don't get scammed. What is going on, Nab Nation, and welcome back to another video. The newest scam that is permeating the ether of eBay is all about XY Evolutions booster boxes. And today, I'm gonna be opening one of these fake boosters so that you guys don't have to, and I'm gonna compare that to a legitimate XY Evolutions booster box so that you know exactly what to be looking out for and so that you don't fall prey to the newest scam that is catching so many people off guard. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump right in to this XY Evolutions fake booster box. So as you guys can see, I have two Evolutions booster boxes sitting here in front of me. And before we jump into some of the characteristics that are telltale signs of a fake booster box, I am interested to get your first impressions on which one you think is actually the legit booster box. Is it the one here on the left or the one on the right? And while you guys contemplate that and come up with your answer, I wanna get into some of the features that have uh, really been the determining factor of the listing on eBay being fake. One of the big things is that what they're doing now, rather than just listing these booster boxes as you know just one or two, they're listing them as sets. So you've probably seen this on eBay before where there'll be sellers where they'll put the listing across the top and if you buy one booster box, it's one price. If you buy multiple booster boxes, the price gets lower and lower. And what you're seeing with um, these particular listings for these fake evolutions boxes is that they're doing them in huge batches, sometimes as much as 25 or more, which are bringing the price down to somewhere along the lines of like 40 or $50 a box, which right away, that is a, a huge red flag, giving you the indication that this is a fake uh, listing, this is a scam. Evolutions booster boxes right now on the low end are sitting around $600 a box. So anything below that I would be very wary of. Even something that's listed at $400, $500, I would definitely be cognizant of that and uh, definitely be a little trepidatious in proceeding with that particular listing, whether it's eBay or any other site out there. So that's the big sign about this new uh, mass marketed scam is that they're doing them in huge batches and a lot of the people that are buying into these think that they're getting a huge deal uh, by picking them up for essentially $40, $50 a box. But guys, that's that, again, that's a huge red flag, should give you uh, all of the, the spidey senses to run away from that listing or um, at the very least go ahead and flag that listing on eBay because you're just not going to see that. Uh, even a case of evolutions, you're probably not going to get for more uh, or less rather than $600 a box. So uh, just, just be very cognizant of that. The other thing is that they're typically using stock images. These are images that are typically pulled off of Google. So if they're not, you know, with vintage products, you want to always see the, the actual picture and preferably with some kind of card or note in it with a signature and with the date to know that it's a legitimate picture it's not photoshopped or anything like that but for vintage items or older items you want to see real images now if you're getting modern you know maybe with fusion strike if there's a stock image there that's not really that big of a deal it's not necessarily a red red flag but when things like this when you're getting over two hundred dollars three hundred dollars for a particular item you want to see an actual picture of it so those are the big things to look out for right away just with the listings themselves on ebay look for the bulk pricing so purchasing you know 25 or more in a lot um that'll give you an immediate red flag and then also stock images with that that'll be another big sign uh, that it is probably a scammed product. Okay, so now that we've gone through that, what decision have you guys come to? Which one is actually the fake box? Well, for those of you out there that are probably familiar with evolutions, the correct answer is the one on the right. This is the fake box here. And again, just looking at it now when compared to the legitimate Evolutions booster box, you're starting to already see some of the characteristics that set it apart. But let's go ahead and run through those, especially for the novice individual. So the big thing here, let's start with the shrink wrap. Now in the past, the shrink wrap for fake products didn't used to even have the Pokemon insignia on there, uh, the, the stamp itself. 
Um, so that was that was an immediate red flag if it didn't have that on there. But now they're starting to put these on there, which is making it a little more difficult. But when you compare that to the legit box, look at the way that it's printed. You've got big, uh, you know, big insignias on here for the legit box. On here, they're small and they're kind of just scattered um, all over the place. Uh, the other thing, look at the nice tight crimp, the tight packaging on the legit Evolutions box. Now, again, this isn't always going to be the case, but if you see it loose, and you can kind of see how loose it is here and just kind of strung together, um, that's usually, a again, a telltale sign that this is a fake booster box. Now, moving on, let's take a look at the side here. Look at the booster packs from the fake box to the legit box. Evolution's booster boxes are going to be predominantly blue in color. So that's another big sign here. Look, you've got red, you've got orange, all kinds of different colors um, on the inside here. That should be, again, another indication that this is a scam product. But again, it's not always so easy, especially if they're listing it with stock images. Um, so just another thing to be uh, cognizant of. You can also see the artwork on the front. You can see the Charizard here and how this one, the legit box compares to the fake box. Obviously much, much different. You can even look down here in the bottom left hand corner, the legit box. Just look at the way the play online logo is. It's got kind of an, a, a white background on it where this one does not. You can't even really see a background on it. And the big thing again, guys, when you're looking to purchase these stock images should be a red flag. But if they do have legit images here, just looking at that, compare that to a legitimate Evolutions booster box. If you have one in your possession or if you don't, just look online. Look for legitimate listings from some of your uh, more reputable sellers and just compare um, this, you know, compare this box to the legitimate ones. And usually you'll be able to pick up on a lot of those characteristics that uh, would immediately send you running for the hills. All right, let's go ahead and set this one in the back here. Let's go ahead and break into this booster box and just see what's on the inside. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy here. Now, you may be asking yourself how I came across this booster box. Did I get scammed myself? And you know, I'm sure some people out there would like to hear that PokéNav got scammed, but no, this was actually from a member of the community who had bought into this and had encouraged me to open this up so that uh, other people don't fall prey to this same scam. So it's um, someone else's misfortune that ultimately may save a lot of you uh, out there. So I appreciate them for allowing me to do this. The other thing here, you know, with the Pokemon uh, booster boxes, you can pop these out for the display. The display on this, oh, there you go. Look at the packs on here pretty crazy you can't even really push this thing out to display it so again that's another red flag that you can actually see even while it's in the shrink wrap so let's go ahead and put that in the background here let's just take some of these packs out and I mean look at this look when compared to legitimate evolutions booster packs I mean look at this no, none of the evolutions packs have any of this type of artwork so you can tell right away like this is all just fake packs that I tell you the packaging itself though is actually pretty good on here now there's quite a bit of space for the cards itself uh, which you typically don't see with legitimate Pokemon packs um, but yeah, the, the, the packaging itself is really not that bad. So let's go ahead and break into some of these packs here and just see what, uh, what we have on the inside. Do we actually have uh, legitimate Evolutions uh, cards in here? In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and use my scissors because the packaging on it is uh, pretty, pretty tight. Can't even really get into it. So let's see what we've got in here. Do we actually have evolution scars? Well, we have some that kind of look like it. But again, for a lot of you out there that are familiar with evolutions, you will notice right away that uh, these just do not look any. Oh, and we have some break cards in here too. But uh, what you'll notice, oh, well, and some of them are upside down. They're not even facing in the right direction. So yeah, and tons of energy cards in there. And uh, the other thing that's really crazy about these is these cards are like super thick. And I know you guys can't really tell that from, uh, from the video itself, but uh, they're super thick. And when you compare that to a legitimate Pokemon card, 
um, it's an immediate red flag and you'll be able to tell that right away. The other thing is that when you rip these open, legitimate Pokemon cards have this little kind of inner black um, layer, so to speak, that uh, goes between the front and the back of the uh, cardstock itself. So if you actually tear open a legitimate Pokemon card, you'll see the black lining uh, go across where you've where you've torn it at and you'll see that that is not the case with these so let's go ahead and uh let's crack into a few more packs here see if i can get this open just by hand man they really got these things glued tight which again i guess that would probably be another red flag here to certainly look at but i mean you're pulling it out and you, you can just tell i mean the, the cards themselves also look a little bit larger than your average Pokemon card. Um, but yeah, just a mishmash. There's actually, I mean, the, the nice thing about it is that, well, I shouldn't say the nice thing, but what makes it a little bit more legitimate, especially to the novice uh, individual out there, is there are actually evolutions cards in here a lot of the time you'll just get maybe um, you know cards from previous sets they're actual pokemon cards but they just stuff them in here but these are actually uh actual evolutions prints but they're on fake cards they've just been printed onto a different type of card stock but they've actually used evolutions cards which again to the novice individual to kids whomever are uh, buying these that aren't familiar with it, they may be fooled and, and think that they've actually gotten, gotten a legitimate um, Evolutions booster box. But again, as you can see here, they're just, the, if you compare that to other Evolutions cards, the, the prints, the print quality, the, the, also the, the saturation, these are like highly saturated. You can really tell it on this Nidoran card here. It's just highly saturated, it's darker prints. It's not as vibrant as regular Pokemon cards. Um, so just another thing to look at here. And again, looking at the packs, none of this artwork is actually featured in evolutions uh booster packs so just again just really really unfortunate to see this going around let's go ahead and open up um, a few other packs here just to see what we have on the inside now they are featuring various different cards in here a lot of the time it's just the same one but it looks like they're actually having you know different types of cards a lot of them upside down so there's a Slowbro EX, lots of energies. You'll see that they just pack full of lots of energies. Uh, let's go ahead and open this Raichu one, see what we've got here. Let's see, you've got Onyx, Pikachu, Potion, focus that in. Professor Oaks, Professor, Professor Oaks Hint. Energy, Raichu. Raticate, and again, a ton of energies. Get through a few other packs. Let's see, Pidgeot EX, Psychic Energy, Raichu, Raticate, got Blastoise. At, at least they're filling it with some really, uh, really bangers in here, even though they're fake. Maybe they're putting some. Uh, some decent uh, fakes in the packs itself. So you guys get the gist of it. This is what to look out for, guys. Again, some of the, the factors that we talked about before. The outside of the box will be like a big uh, red flag right off the bat that you can certainly look out uh, for. Um, you know, just looking first at the shrink wrap. Um, and even before that, just looking at the listing on eBay, the red flags that we talked about earlier. Um, but look at the packs, look at the shrink wrap, look at uh, a legitimate booster box to compare that to, and uh, it'll be pretty easy to spot out. And, uh, and hopefully you guys don't fall prey to this latest scam. So guys, I think that's gonna do it for today. Let me know what you thought of today's video. 
and if you happen to come across any of these listings on eBay that are sending up those red flags to you, send them over my way, flag them on eBay so that no one else has to unfortunately fall prey uh, to this scam. It really discourages a lot of people out there, but ultimately, if we can bring more of this to light, if we can spread the knowledge of what to look out for, what to find in legitimate uh, Pokemon products, then hopefully we can mitigate a lot of the people out there that are getting scammed. Other than that, guys, I will see you all next time. My name is Pokenav. I'm here to help you navigate the world of Pokemon one video at a time, and I will see you all in the next video.